Alright, now we are going to discuss about SOAP API. So, to start working with SOAP API, we need to know about the Enterprise and Partner WSDL. So what on earth is a WSDL? It's Web Services Description Language. So it's like a map. It's like a map describing what, what, what is available for you to use. So we have an enterprise and a partner WSDL. What is the difference? The enterprise one is very specific to the Salesforce instance or the Salesforce org where you download the WSDL from. So if you, for example, create a new field on an object after you have downloaded the enterprise WSDL, and then you try to work with that field, it will not work because you have created a new field after you download the WSDL. So it doesn't have the definition about that field yet, right? So be mindful of that. When you use the enterprise WSDL, every time you create new fields, you configure stuff in your instance, in your Salesforce org, you have to re-download the new definition. Otherwise, the old definition will not recognize those new configuration, other new fields or other new metadata that you have changed, all right? Keep that in mind, okay? Let's launch our playground here. Now, I'm going to launch my developer beginner. I'm not going to create a new one for developer intermediate. It's pretty much the same. So here, if you go to setup, the gear icon, and then go to setup here, and you search for um, API. Did I type the I? Integrations API. Click on here, API. So, API WSDL. You can download the enterprise here or the partner here. We haven't talked about all the other available uh, WSDL, but we are going to focus on the enterprise and the partner, and we are specifically going to use or try the enterprise one. All right? So now, Let's give it a try. I'm going to download by clicking on here, generate. And I'm going to generate here. Take your time. It takes some time to generate the whole stuff. There. So this is a huge file. If you scroll down, see? It's a huge, 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 huge file. So what I'm going to do is save this XML, but I'm just gonna right click here and view page source. It's gonna reload, 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 and here. So you can actually see the whole code, right? So I'm going to copy this whole thing here it takes a few seconds and copy that and open my text edit. Or whatever um, text application you have, if you have notepad or anything in Windows, right? Just paste it here. So you have the whole thing there and make sure you don't have an extra space at the beginning. And I'm going to um, save this on my documents folder and name this um, 
trailhead. Okay, I'm going to save that. All right. Okay, so now we have the Enterprise WSDL for the playground, for the trailhead playground. I'm going to close this out, close this out, and leave that. Go back to our trail here. All right. So we have generated and downloaded that. Now we are going to use this um, software co called the SOAP UI. Click on the SOAP UI website here to download and install it um, onto your computer. I have installed it on my computer, so I'm not going to waste your time by, sh by showing how to install a software. You should know that by now. So click on the download SOAP, uh, SOAP UI open source and install it in your computer. Once you've done that, you can launch it. Mine is already launched here, right? So let's see what's the next. Um, the next step is we are going to create a new SOAP project. So enter exploring Salesforce SOAP API. So first install that software. Once you're done, you, you open the SOAP UI software and create this new um, project. And the initial WSDL is you choose where you save that WSDL um, in your computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go file here and create a new project. So project. The name is Exploring Salesforce SOAP API. I'm going to browse and that should be on my hard drive, my documents folder, users, this is me, documents folder, okay, allow, I'm gonna, there you go. I'm going to open that. Actually, you should name it as .xml here, but I think that's fine, but let's just rename it first. So if I go back here, yes, XML, and choose it again here. Okay. And I'm going to hit OK. Boom. Loading definition. There. Now, as you can see, we have all this available um, description. What we can do with the WSDL. So you can create, delete, right? And you can describe. Login, logout, what's available there. Okay. So if I close that, you can see you can browse around there. Let's go back to our trail. So we have this right now. So now let's log into our uh, trailhead playground. And we have done that. Now in the SOAP UI, scroll down the login operation, expand it, and then double click on request one. Okay, so now if I flip back to my SOAP UI, we have a login here. See, request one, I'm gonna double click there. Can you see it? So I'm just looking if I can, that's okay. Zoom this up. So let's flip back to our trail. Now, here we can, um, Oh, 
Okay, so now we are going to log into our playground using the SOAP API. To do that, you should know your playground username, password, and security token. So let's go ahead and get those information from our playground. So first off, I'm going to go to my playground here. Go to your playground and I'm going to set up and then users. Users here, I am going to reset my password again to something new because you are going to see my plain text password. I'm just going to change it to bada bing bada boom. So here, check on your username and reset password. This will send an email to your email address, wherever you set that. So if you click first, I'm going to show you where you see your email address. Here, the email here, you see student at zone.io. So if you hit reset password, it's going to send an email to here. Okay. Make sure the email you have here is the one you can open. So I'm going to check the box and reset the password. Okay, so it sends an email to there, which I'm going to open now. So you will see something like this. Okay, and click on here. Change the password. And sure, update the password. But then I have to reset my security token as well. So I'm going to go to here, click on your icon here. And then go to settings. Did I click it? Yes. And then you can type security token. Reset my security token. There. So we have our security token, which is this one. I'm going to copy it to my text edit. Okay. Let's make a new one here. Close this old one. And then zoom in. This is my security token. Okay. And the password was Bada Bing Bada Boom 2020. So we'll keep this handy. Okay. So that's how you reset your password. All right. Reset your password and get your security token. Then we are actually going to use those information to log in here. So so when we go back to the SOAP UI, here we have the details and we can take out the package here. It says, just take this out. We don't need that. Now I'm going to put my username here, which is my email address on the trailhead, which is this guy is my username. So I'm going to copy that put it here, take out the space and my password is my password and my security token. Okay. So here my password, put it here and then you have to combine it together. Oops, sorry about that with no space, no nothing, just add a security token right after that. You know what? We should take out the whole header. So it's like this, right? Let's clean it up like that. So take out the whole header like that. I'm going to take this out. So it's just like that. And then the username and a password. Security token and play again. Yes, that's better. So now we have the details here. Yeah, the user ID. So we are logged in. So we have to remember to take out the header. Okay, take out the header, then, then hit the, the play button, display button. Okay, so from here, we need to grab a few things. We need, we need to grab the instance 
which is this guy, resourceful raccoon, right? And then this, I'm gonna copy that and put it on my text editor. Yes. Oops. This one, I'm gonna keep that. This is for the next step of creating the account. So the next step is we want to create the account. Um, okay, we've logged in, we get that. Oh, we want the session ID. All right, let's grab the session ID here. We need to grab the whole session ID. It's pretty long, so get the whole thing there. So next, we are going to create an account. So we have the resourceful raccoon. For me, you would have another name probably. So now, we are going to create an account here, all right? So to do that, I'm going to go here and then we have create on the top here, create, request one, double click on there, boom. So on here, we should clean it up first because we don't need the whole thing, all right? So we want to take out from here, email header. Let me see. From email header until assignment rule header. We want to take that, take that out. Email header until assignment rule header. So the whole thing here, we are going to delete from email header to assign, close assignment rule header, delete. So you should have something like this, okay? So now, go back to the trail. So we still have session header. So we have the session ID. So session ID, replace the question mark there, okay? So we're gonna grab our session ID from here. There, I'm gonna copy there and put my session ID on here, on the top here, okay, boom. Okay, we got the session ID. So next, um, on the S object, I want to change that S object with this new, this new one here. Copy this until there. Go back to SOAP UI. And then what it says, S object here, right? I'm gonna paste that. So you have uh, the type U URNL account and, and so on. And then you can take this out. We don't need this too, right? Just take this out. And then we want to put the account name, so the fields that we want, the name of the account inside the S object. So same sample SOAP account. Back to SOAP UI, boom. Okay, so we have sample SOAP account. Go back here. So one last thing to do before we make the request, we need to change the login URL here to the actual um, the actual URL that we got from, from the first login step. Okay, so actually the instance, you get it from the first one before the session ID here. So, here is your instance, so the server URL. Right, so we need to copy this whole thing here until here. That's our instance URL. What we need to put here, boom. So I'm just gonna copy from here to the other one. Close this. Close that. So put it here. 
Yeah. Now we should have something. Boom. So we have created an account. It says we have used 13 API calls out of 15,000 limit on our org. Now we should have an account which name is sample soap account. So if I browse here and go to accounts, we should have sample soap account. Here, sample soap account was created. Okay. So let's see what can we do next. Next is, um, that's it, I think. Now let's do the challenge together. What is the challenge? Use SOAP API and SOAP UI. Create an account. Well, it's the same thing. Blue, Bluebird Grog House and the description. It is better than black beard so let's do that while we're still on the soap ui so basically i'm going to change the name here to the requested name and description is It is better than the black beards. Put it here and I am going to execute it. Boom. Oh, invalid field. There is no such column description. Oh, I mistyped it. Come on, Jimbo. There we go, and I'll run it again. Okay, I think it ran just fine. If we go back here and check our accounts again. Yeah, we created a lot. Okay, now we can just get the points and Continue with our trail, which the next one is bulk API. Okay, so on here, we just learned how to use the SOAP API software on how to execute SOAP API into the Salesforce org. I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom